people caring for people. Compassion. That's the foundation Gotham was built on. And I have proudly built Golf Corp on that same foundation. That's why we're called the People Company. Thank you so much. Please. Mr. Boyle seems to be after your title as Gotham's biggest philanthropic industrialist. Gotham needs more people like him. Bruce! Hey. <laughs> I am blown away by your support. It's well deserved. You're going to change the world, Ferris. Hey, we'll change it together, right? Pardon me, Mr. Boyle. The press is waiting. Well, this way, please. I'd say the future is looking very, very bright for Gotham. Now, it's almost midnight, and you all know what that means. Let's get this New Year's Eve party going with the... Whew. Forget to pay your heating bill, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> afraid of an old man. Uh, Just take it easy. Uh, <laughs> Hope that face wasn't worth something. Oh, look at the rich boy. So long, Bruce. Okay. I've been through worse. These are penguins, men. What do they want with Ferris? I'm not sure. They're being led by someone in a mechanized suit. I need to find Ferris before they do. Well, you're no use to us dressed like that. You need to put on your other suit. The closest entrance to the Batcave is in the study. Bruce, Bruce, do you have a minute? Someone said an iceberg just appeared, uh, exploded in the ballroom. I need details. What happened? Who do you think- Where's Ferris? He never made it to the interview. Wait, you're not going out there alone, are you? Stay with Alfred. He'll keep you safe. With these guests about, perhaps you should look for that uh, <clears throat> item in the wine cellar. Right. Those men are armed. I'm going to have to take them down quietly if I don't want to get shot. Just hide here. Mm -hmm. be fine. Don't forget, I called dibs on those pearls. I've taken them before we torch this place. Makes sense. 
You don't get to the top without stepping on a few heads. You know what I mean? There ain't nothing back there except more wine. Bordeaux. Is that expensive? It's not Bordeaux. It's Bordeaux. Oh, shop. Bordeaux. Yeah. Is that expensive or what? We're inside Wayne Manor, Doofus. It's all expensive. So why's Penguin got us working with this Mr. Freeze? Why do you think? Did you see that ice ray? You mean Freeze forced him? Hell no. We help Freeze get boiled, and he gets us more of those ice spray things. Ah, I hope I get one. You? You probably just freeze yourself with it. I'll freeze your damn trap shut. Ooh, ooh, that might hurt if it came from a guy who didn't live in his mother's basement. Hey, I rent that room from her. come out of that cave more than once a week, you'd know that the Batcave entrance is in the wine cellar's tasting room. Look for the statue. in that tunnel, sir. It's still suffering from the damage our visitor did on Christmas Eve. of your mechanized man. These hooligans are calling him Mr. Freeze. You might consider donning your extreme environment suit. The XE suit? It's not ready for deployment. Oh dear, I hear helicopters. More penguin brutes. Do hurry. Time to prep the XE suit for deployment. I'll need Alfred to put the finishing touches on it. I need to get back to the manor and find Ferris before Penguin's men do. Penguin's men are in the north wing. I need to go back to the tunnel above the training area. The only way back to the manor is on the elevator by the training area. Before you ask, the formula we used for your glue grenades was unstable. What was left after Christmas Eve was degraded into dust.
happened to the power? Sir, you must hurry. They're setting the manor ablaze. I've managed to get most of the guests into the east and south wings, but... Hey, it's the butler! Alfred. Alfred! signal from Alfred. I'd better find another way into the library. I'm sure your employer will enjoy the hundreds of dollars it will garner on the black market. Hey, old timer, I only need a few hundred to put this thing on the Oh, dear. You've earned several hundred thousand dollars worth of books from 11th century mm. China. Mm -hmm. well, by all means, be sure to get what you You, uh, think you read about some books? Hell no. Look how old they are. They're practically falling apart. Yeah, good point. Thinks he could trick us out of fence in this statue. Bet you it's worth it. Oh, Son of a bitch! Whoa! It's you! Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Take it easy, we gotta stay cool. Get me down! Get me... 
Look at this stuff. the exit. This way. That was amazing. You just picked those goons apart. Shh, quiet. They've got Ferris Boyle in the next room. I, I think they're going to kill him. Sir. 
Are you all right? Thanks to you, the hero of Christmas Eve come to rescue us from the... Can I trust you'll get these people to safety? Um, of course. Now that you've dealt with most of these hooligans... You should restore power to your sprinkler system to deal with these fires. Not to worry. I won't allow Wayne Manor to burn to the ground. You know, you really should do an exclusive with me. The people want to know what you're all about. I've got more important things to do. This is important. You've become a hot issue for this city. You need to state for the record what you're trying to accomplish. My actions state that loud and clear. Thank you for the rescue, uh, Batman. But I believe the You've got a new supporter in me. Thanks again. Are you here to stop these maniacs? So are you here to stop this mystery? Stop boy, come in. Don't do this. Keep struggling, Boyle. Yeah, you want to get shot? Mr. Freeze is on the way. Who, Who did you say? like Freeze isn't the only one with a cryogenic weapon. This door is frozen shut. I'll need to enter the ballroom through the balcony. Freeze is gone. One of Penguin's goons will know where that chopper's going. Trash the place, and our frozen friend made his escape. That's mission accomplished in my book. I do. Time to count up our loot and bug out. Well, this is quite the haul. Gonna be eating well this one, boys. Wait a second! That's the battle! Oh. Uh.
Okay. Where is he taking Ferris? I, I don't know. I promise. Do you have any idea how many of your friends I sent to the hospital on Christmas Eve? Look, one of Penguin's dealers. He's stolen out the weapons Freeze gave us. He must know. We were supposed to meet up in South Gotham. You can meet up in the emergency room instead. Targeting someone like Ferris Boyle. It's sickening. I know you'll bring him to justice, sir. I'll see this one wheeled into Blackgate on a gurney. A2 dispatch, confirming that code 3. Looks like these anarchy fanatics are taking advantage of the lack of police presence down here. Roger, A2. Continue to monitor. Do not engage without backup. <laughs> No chance of that. I should deal with those anarchy followers. But first I need to track down Penguin's dealer and find out where Freeze has taken Ferris.
thinking maybe it's time I went legit. Hell no. Touch me, fool! Sorry! Hey! I ain't got time for this! I'm gonna find that thing and then I'm gonna feed it to you! I got no joke! 
crap! Wait, he's still alive! Need a hand over here! Pull yourself together! Hey, when you say we just bust on out of here, huh? Keep your mouth shut and your eyes peeled. He could be anywhere. Enough already! Let's get this over with! We're gonna keep like... dealer is the key to finding Freeze. I should scan this area for clues that might tell me where he went. I'll come back to help this person once I have my thermal gloves. Whatever this substance is, it's slowly shutting his systems down, putting him into cryostasis. I won't be able to safely remove him from the ice without the thermal gloves built into the XE suit. The officer just chanced upon Penguin's men. He wasn't equipped to deal with this cryotech, but the cryo gun was leaking. If I hurry, this trail will lead me right to Penguin's men. Then I can make them tell me where this tech came from. Alfred, Penguin's men are using cryogenic weapons to encase innocent people in ice. I'm going to need the thermal gloves and the XC suit to break them free. I'll get to work immediately, sir. Any idea where these weapons are coming from? I'll get that answer when I catch up with Penguin's dealer.
evidence, right? Yeah. We got the money, so it's a problem. The problem is... They're in temporary cryostasis. I'll need my thermal gloves to safely release them. Yes, we should get him. Now it gets in a red. What you got for me, huh? Once Alfred has the XE suit prepped, I'll be able to come back and release this person.
Look, I, I don't... Where's Freeze? You think I know? You plan on celebrating the New Year in traction? Okay, okay. He, he made a deal with Penguin. Weapons in exchange for some stiff. Uh, uh, Ferris Boyle. He's in Gothcorp last I saw. You're lying. Gothcorp doesn't make weapons. What? No, I... Uh, Gothcorp, I swear. Look, I've got the entry codes. I'll take those. It doesn't make sense. Gothcorp involved in weapons tech. There's got to be more to this. Five. We got no contact with units on the bridge. men were armed. How'd you do that? Where are they taking Ferris? Mr. Boyle? They, uh, they're heading to the propellant research wing. These guys have been raiding the whole facility. Do you have the codes to this security door? No, I don't have clearance. But my boss does. A bunch of them took him to the organics lab, through the lobby. I'll make sure they don't hurt your boss. Get yourself to safety. My boss has the codes you need. Those goons have them in the organics lab. I can't help this person without the thermal gloves built into the XE suit. They're in temporary cryostasis. I'll need my thermal gloves to safely release them. I 
So shy of a sudden, huh? What happened to that spirit of sharing? I... I'm cooperating! I'm cooperating! I know, I know, but we all got jobs, see? And, and my job is to shoot you if I don't think you're telling me the truth. I told you there are no weapons here. It's just plants, tissue research. Yeah, you said. Then, you believe me. You know what? I do. I do believe you. But to be honest, <laughs> I just really love my job. Oh, God. Frozen food? No. Says they're trying to grow plants in low temperatures. Have they ever heard of global warming? No. We really don't have some. Like on Mars. Seriously? It's pretty cool. Mars? Ain't there enough people starving on this planet? We gotta go feed the Martians now? We got no imagination. You know that? On GNN. You just saved my life. You have codes I need to access the propellant research wing. I do. Here, take them. You're going to save Mr. Boyle, right? It's not safe inside Gothcorp. You need to get out of here. Don't worry. I won't be hanging around. And, uh, thanks, you know? Not just for me. For Gotham.
That's why I'm asking where he's in. Why are you asking us? We've all been with you. Knock it off. Maybe we just got trouble. We don't get the hit. That'll go double for us. So what? I guess we wait for Fitzy to show. You know, I can't wait to see you explain this brilliant plan to Penguin's face. My boss has the codes you need. Those goons have them in the organics lab. this entire room. Oh, I know you won't. Boyle's got the code you need. And I ain't giving him up. Let's all get what he's giving you. What's behind this door is of no interest to you. What I'm interested in is the weapons I was promised. I know you're holding out on me. This will not end well for you, Cobblepot. Oh, I think you're confused about what exactly is about to happen. As soon as you show it, that
belong to me. I'll give you one chance to let him go. Rats are meaningless to a man who has lost everything. <laughs> After. Why does he need Boyle? Boyle's got codes he needs to access some kind of super weapon. And now you let him have it! That ice is the only thing saving you from getting the beating you deserve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you ought to save our friend Mr. Boyle, yeah? But you'll never break through this ice. Gothcorp has a device. It's uh, uh, like a drill. A cryo drill. Tell me where it is. I had my men bring all our uh, acquisitions to the My Alibi nightclub. For safekeeping, of course. Then you better hope your men are still at my alibi. If I want to break through this barrier of ice, I'd better get to the My Alibi nightclub before Penguin's men decide to relocate. Emergency. Propellant research bay compromised. Initiate evacuation procedures. Warning. Critical failure in propellant research bay. Please evacuate. I'll come back to help this person once I have my thermal gloves. Without the XE suit, I'd never survive in that cloud of cryo vapor. I can't help this person without the thermal gloves built into the XE suit. Danger. Cryogen. Once Alfred has the XE suit prepped, I'll be able to come back and release this person. You got a fist in it, I'm no cryo engineer, I'm just a guard. You want to break the death? You better figure it out. Your friends we busted the security system on the exit to the lobby. We can escape. No one's escaping until we get the pink. So I don't care what you are, a guard, an engineer, or a damn snow cone vendor. Fix this situation, or my friends and I are gonna fix you! Understand? Okay, okay. Just... Just let me think. The pants on <sighs> Am I gonna die? Where'd you come from? That was incredible! Come with me. I'm getting you out of here. Thanks for getting me out of there. What are you gonna do now? After I've recovered the cryo drill, I'm coming back here to save Ferris. But isn't Freeze gonna try to stop you? With any luck. 
Alfred, what's the status of the XC suit? I've just finished loading it into a drop container. Good news. I'm on my way to my alibi to recover a stolen cryogenic drill. Have the Batwing drop it there. It's on its way. I'm detecting a group of armed men outside my alibi. I suggest you secure the area before I initiate the drop. Probably want all the chicks to themselves. So, what are you gonna do? You wanna hit a liquor store, then maybe a strip club? We do that every year. You see, this is the problem with New Year's Eve. You always got such high expectations, and then it's such a letdown. I think I'm just gonna turn in early. Hey, jeez. When did you become such a crotchety old plus kid? Throw one. More booze and chicks for us. Incoming, sir. Gloves should help you deal with most ice you encounter, sir. And the suit will provide. Sir, I suggest you deal with the last of these activists as soon as you're able. The honeycomb structure insulates against extreme cold without increasing weight. It won't slow me down a bit. I'll be fine. Listen, I owe you one.
Gotham is a prison, and the police its wardens. To protect and serve, their motto goes. And they do. Protect and serve themselves. We live in fear of their gays, their billy clubs and guns. When they walk down the streets, we avert our eyes. We tremble when they speak. Who are these people, really? What drives them? Is it justice? Honor? No. They want power, and the badge gives it to them. And so those we look to for protection instead inspire fear. As if there isn't enough going on tonight. Gotham is a prison, and the police its wardens. To protect and serve, their motto goes. And they do. Damn it. The bombs are still active. There must be a second failsafe detonator nearby. I don't have much time. Thermocharge a batarang. Use it to knock out that frozen security box. I'm damn cold, but I'll survive. Yeah. 
exactly. You stole a cryogenic drill from Goth Corp. Well, yeah, but it ain't here. Bigwood said to sell off the parts. It's in pieces. Where are they? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Just don't drop me off a roof, okay? Maybe next time. You! Sir, your map has been updated with the locations of the components you'll need to rebuild the cryogenic drill. Thanks, Alfred. I'm on it. How much longer do we gotta be out in this stupid, stupid weather? Penguin said to wait for his call. He's setting something up with a fire. Yeah, but he ain't called. You don't think... I mean, you don't think Freeze would've turned on I wouldn't doubt it. The guy ain't human. Looks at everything like it's his next meal. I know. And those eyes, goggles, whatever. Wow. Gives me... No. Chills. Are you two quivering idiots sure you're in the right lane of work? You. How about we hit up the stack deck? What do you say? It 
much he's out here working. Nothing wrong with taking a break, you know. Grabbing a drink for the road? Like they'd let you in. What's that supposed to mean? Look at the way you're dressed. When was the last time you took a shower today? I've been inside before plenty of times. Sure you have. I have. And describe it to me. It's got a bunch of um, decks that I run. Stacked. You know what? Screw you. Let's just get back to work. Uh, that thing is back! My lucky day! Uh! Yeah. 
much it's gonna cost to clean up this mess. Gotta be millions in damage, and the night ain't even over yet. Yeah, how will they pay for it? They'll probably raise taxes. They're always raising taxes. Then wondering why we're all so pissed off. <laughs> and when was the last time you paid taxes? I don't gotta pay them to hate them. Drill, but it requires some kind of superconducting fluid to operate. Ah, here it is, sir. An organic supercoolant used in an experimental lab run by one Victor Freeze. As in Mr. Freeze. It seems too great a coincidence to ignore. It says here that Ferris had Mr. Freeze's lab shut down. If he's a disgruntled employee out for revenge, then this is about more than just stealing weapons tech. Now, Freeze's lab is under quarantine. Some kind of accident. I'm on my way back to Gothcorp now.
I'll be fine. Listen, I owe you one. in the organics lab. Lockdown protocols in effect. What's Fitchy get you? We're gonna rip this place apart until we find a way to get Penguin out of his situation. And then, we're gonna open up this Mr. Freeze like a can of tuna. Here he comes! This is our turn. here to save you, sorry asses. Go on! Size me up all you want! Yesterday. Go! You ready for it now? Here comes the thing! Just a little! 
You're the Batman. can use a thermocharged batarang to bring that ice down on top of those thugs. to evacuate this lab of cryo vapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. <laughs> he can't get to us. Not while the lab's full of cryo vapor. Think we're safe. So long as that cryo tank is pumping the vapor, we can't get in here with all that cryo vapor, right? We're safe. We can't get through that vapor while there's still power to the tank. You hate the way I played on spending my New Year's Eve. There are power conduits running through the greenhouses. I should be able to disable them with a thermocharged batarang. I need to disable those two power conduits to stop that reactor leak. Then I need to ventilate the room of cryo vapor. Charge and shoot. I hope you guys brought extra ammo.
He's got me! I gotta... I gotta... What? Is he saving it for later or something? He's making us look like chumps! No, you stay in here! Let's find him! I'm in shock, all right. I can't believe what I'm seeing. I'm in shock, all right. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Guys, Freeze took out the penguin. It looks like he drove off the bat. Maybe this Freeze guy's a better bet for us. Keep talking like that. I'm gonna kick your ass so hard you'll be sitting down on your face. Hey, I'm just saying. Never hurt to keep our options open, you know?
need to evacuate this lab of cryovapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. Thank you. There's more going on here than a simple accident. This security guard's skin has the same blue coloration as Freeze's. I should set up a crime scene. Data analysis indicates that he died from heat stroke, but the control room doesn't show signs of overheating. This is some kind of crystallized chemical residue. Traces lead back into the lab. The trail ends here. I should scan for more evidence. Two men struggled. One of them ran out of the lab. That would be the dead security guard I found. These palm prints are a match for Victor Freeze. He must have watched the security guard die. Freeze scavenged what he needed from various prototypes to build himself a super-cooled survival suit. Extreme pressure built up inside the tank when ice sealed these outtakes. It appears that this guard was frozen by the cryo vapors from the resulting explosion. The evidence suggests the guard was frozen before the tank ruptured, perhaps by Freeze's cryo cannon. These DNA traces are a match for Victor Freeze. Spatter analysis suggests a blunt impact. Someone assaulted Freeze with a weapon. A cannon was knocked over and fired. When the tank exploded, it released a plume of cryochemicals. The plume enveloped Freeze and the guard, but the shockwave knocked the assailant clear. I need to find that weapon. It may have evidence I can use to identify the assailant. DNA analysis confirms the gun was used to bludgeon Victor Freeze, and fingerprint analysis shows Ferris Boyle. It was Ferris. Something was wheeled through this fluid, possibly a gurney. 
The fluid must have frozen almost immediately for these tracks to have been preserved. Odd. Freeze was secretly doing research on Huntington's Korea. But this is a cryogenic weapons lab. The test subject was... Nora Freeze. Now I know what happened here. Boyle hired Victor to help advance the secret cryo-weapons program within Gothcorp. In exchange, Boyle agreed to devote Gothcorp resources to finding a cure for Nora's Huntington's. But Boyle was more interested in how Victor had managed to put Nora into cryostasis. When Victor realized that Boyle had no intention of following through on their deal, he decided to do the Huntington's research himself. But Boyle didn't like that. The cryochemical cocktail altered Victor's metabolism, as well as the guards. Boyle escaped ahead of the plume and had the lab quarantined. Victor survived, but he knew that leaving the supercooled lab would kill him. So he built himself a suit and utilized an organic supercoolant to keep his core temperature sub-zero. All this violence. He's just trying to save his dying wife. The super coolant Victor uses in his suit is the same fluid I need for the cryo drill. Send Gordon the evidence I've gathered on Boyle's crimes. I'm sorry, Master Bruce. I know you had high hopes for what Ferris could do for Gotham. That doesn't matter now. Victor's plan was never to kill Boyle. He needs Boyle's security access to get his wife out of Gothcorp. That's all he wants. And now, you're going to stop him? I have to. And are you still going to need that gurney? I am. But not for Victor. You know what I'm gonna do? When I get out of here, I'm gonna have candy pour me a nice hot bath. And then I'm gonna drown you in it! Uh, I'm trying, boss. This ice is tough. Oh, you completely and utterly dead skin. Get over here, you nasty bugger. Put your scrawny little neck in my hand so I can strangle some sense into you. Boss, you gotta calm down. We'll get you out of there, somehow. I'm gonna make 
take your life a living hell! You hear me, you pointy head freak! Let's be reasonable. You're not gonna die. Holy... Are Thanks. Are you? Thank you. He's escaped! Nora, you cannot stop me. We 
We ain't gonna have nothing but him for long. Keep your eyes open or you're gonna end up like this sorry son of a bitch. This guy stayed in one place too long. Keep moving! Do you understand what it's like to have someone taken from you? No need for this, Batman.
Watch your resolve. Mine remains as strong as ever. You have forced me to do this. Take a good long look. You don't want to end up like this? You better tighten up your act. Hide and seek, huh? Yeah, we'll only play. Find him. You will not solve. You only anger me. Okay, that way. Lock him out. Huh? I'll do the rest. I see him. Get your asses over here. I can't shoot him if I can't. I know you're up there. Where are you? He's escaped. How did he escape? This man should have been more careful. I hope you watch your back tonight. Search the area. I don't think you're gonna last too long at this rate. See what happens, huh? That's what happens when you drop it. Find him. Where are you? I mean, the police are never going to look at me after what you did. And with this bat freak dead, there won't be anyone left to say otherwise. Cryogenic containment failing. Yeah. And that just leaves you. Please, you can save her. You just have to buy past the trial suffering. Victor! Keep dying! But oh. I'll keep you alive long enough to see her go! No! Oh. Oh. <sighs> 